We are getting ready to start and I'm so nervous. Welcome to my world. So I am actually headed out to get a tattoo. I have a tattoo on my foot. I've had it for 17 years. And I'm gonna get it added onto, some detail added, get it spiced up, kind of like, a, kind of finished, I feel like. And then I'm gonna get um, maybe my dad's handwriting, be true, be you, tattooed in his handwriting, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> We are getting ready to start and I'm so nervous. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh. I'm not nervous because it's permanent. I'm nervous for the pain. People are like, oh my gosh, tattoos really hurt on your ribs or tattoos really hurt on your foot or tattoos really hurt here. I'm like, it's a tattoo, it's gonna hurt anywhere. It's kinda like giving birth to a baby. It doesn't matter if you have found five pound baby, seven pound baby, myself had a 10 and a half pound baby. Shit's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt no matter how big the baby is, and it's gonna hurt no matter where you get your tattoo. <laughs> it kind of feels hot. Um, this not really. I mean, it's irritating, but it doesn't really hurt. It feels kind of hot. It's my dad's handwriting. It says, be true, be you. He taught me so much about authenticity and doing me. And so I'm doing this and I'm freaked out. Like that's for real. I've had this tattoo on my foot for a long time and there's no point in it. And I tell people that they're like, there's no point. Like, I don't even know why I did it. So here I am going to get more. And the same thing, like with my dad's handwriting and the be true and the be you, like there's no real point in it other than my parents are a huge reason for the success that I've seen so far in my life. But my dad specifically has made a huge, huge impact in the way that I am and who I am and my being authentic. Like you guys know that being authentic is one of my biggest core values, I guess. Uh, whether you like it or don't like it, I'm gonna be true to myself. And that's because that's how my dad raised me. He raised me. I remember him saying so many times, Liz, be a leader, not a follower. Be a leader, not a follower. Um, and he would, I would apologize maybe for something, how I felt or what I was saying. And he, you know, don't apologize for how you feel. Be true, be yourself, voice your opinion. Even if it ruffles feathers, ruffling feathers is not a bad thing. If you're being true to yourself and you're being true uh, for what you stand for. And that truth can always change. It can modify, it can grow, but always, always be the best version of yourself. And I was, I was raised to be a leader, not a follower. I was raised to be unapologetically myself. And so authenticity is a huge core value for me. And I try and uh, spread that to other people, um, encourage other people to be themselves. I mean, you're not going to be everyone's cup of tea and that's okay. We're not made to serve everyone. We're not made to be friends with, you don't want to be friends with everyone. You don't want, you know, like some people just suck the life out of you. So the point is this tattoo represents being authentic. And I got it in my dad's handwriting because he's had so much influence in my life. Um, and at, and bringing that core value to the top of me making me realize how important being authentic is so my message to you is be you be true be true be you 
do your thing, do you. And I'm Liz Medley, 